Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna try to make um, chicken fettuccine. <clears throat> um, let's just say this is my version because I don't think I'm using the right recipe. So, first of all, I think you were supposed to use like um, unsalted butter, but I thought I had butter when I went to the store and I didn't. So four tablespoons of, I only have margarine, so let's just say it's butter. And I think this has like salt in it, so I'm probably not gonna add salt. I'm just gonna try it as I go. Cause you guys know what happened with my recipe, that one recipe. Lower the heat. And then I'm gonna throw in, I, this is four cloves of garlic. Mm -mm. So, okay, now I'm gonna add some black pepper. black pepper and then I think you were supposed to use heavy whipping cream I don't know what the difference is of heavy whipping cream and heavy uh, oh, great all over my face heavy cream so we're gonna do um, one fourth one cup and three fourth of this stuff I don't have a three fourth so I'm just gonna eyeball it like so and just let that cook. Mm -mm -mm. I hope this is gonna come out right because I'm hungry and I want to eat. Mm -mm -mm. So while we're waiting, let's make a salad. Move that over. I just have some romaine lettuce here. I'm just gonna like, you know, I'm just gonna break it up in my bowl. Should have got a scissor. I don't really use the ends, so I'll just leave that there. It's so wet, I should have dried it. <laughs> I should have a lot of things, right? At least I have a napkin. Um, so next I'm gonna add some Caesar dressing. Mix that up. And I'm gonna throw in some Caesar croutons. I should like them. And then I'm just gonna mix that all up and let that sit to the side. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my Parmesan, grated fresh Parmesan to that. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit so I can sprinkle it, uh, sprink, sprinkle it on top of the um, pasta. Oh yeah, and then I have some leftover chicken that I'm just gonna add in here. I warmed it up in the microwave so it can be warm and easy to peel. So I'm gonna just add my chicken that it was barbecued. Mm -mm -mm. Like, where did she get that chicken from? It just came out of nowhere. But yeah, <laughs> I was like, I want some protein in there. Oh, it's hot. Okay, it's like boiling now. Oh, this chicken is so hot, I shouldn't have Drew it in there so long. And then I did already um, boil my noodles. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Let me move this closer. So I'm just throw my noodles in there. And then mix it all up. Out. 
try the sauce. Mmm. Let's do half a teaspoon of salt. Right there. Stir that baby up. And then we're gonna throw in, so, I mean, we're gonna add some more black pepper. And then um, just add the rest of your cheese in there. I just grate it and put it in this cup because you needed a cup of Parmesan too, so. Yes. Wow, that was so quick, you guys. So quick. I swear, that was like the quickest meal I've ever made in my entire life, I swear. All right, so let me just pour my soda. I'm having a cherry Coke. And then I did bring out some pineapple because I thought I was going to have time to like snack on it while I was waiting. Mm. But I didn't. Mmm. Wow, you guys. Don't ask me why I have two forks. I thought I would put it in the sink when I cleaned up some stuff, so. Mm. I was nervous about this. First, I didn't have the butter, unsalted butter. My Parmesan cheese was not the really like really good quality one. I think it's just, I don't know, I just picked it up from Walmart. Mm. And, mm. I was ready like, fuck. If it doesn't come out right, fuck. Mm. This is not necessary if you don't want it, but for me, I'm going to have to add it. I'm just going to have to add it. Yes, oh my God. Mm. 
It came out so good, you guys. I made this before, but like I've never made the homemade sauce. It's so freaking easy. I can't believe it. Mmm. Anyways, um, I'm having a bad day today. Really rough week, actually. And, uh, the thing is, the week just started, and it's already bad. Like, don't knock people because you don't know what they're going through, their situation in life. Because you don't know what they're going through or what, like, where they're at in life, too. You just never know. So just don't knock people. If you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm like nobody knows what you're going through but yourself. <sighs> and the people around you, you know, like sometimes life is just not fair. Like things could be going so good and then someone could just come by and like knock you, knock the wind out of you and you're just like, Damn, kind of thing, you know? Mm. Let me just say one thing. If you have a kid and you don't want to work to support your kid or hustle or do whatever you have to do to get money for your kid and you are not and you expect that guy to be paying your shit, I'm praying for you. I honestly thought I could eat so much. I think like when you're super hungry, your stomach wants to eat so much. Well, like your brain tells your stomach you want to eat so much, but you overcook shit. And yeah. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um. Oh, in my question and answer video, I got a lot of 
um, comments saying like they wanted to meet my boyfriend, meet my boyfriend, but I don't think he's going to be in any videos right now because like the issue with other baby's mom, like I just, that's kind of a reason why I don't want to put my kids in videos because of her because she just, she doesn't have a life and I just don't want to put anything about my family on social media if you guys don't mind like i'm sorry but i just i just don't want to expose them to that or someone hateful like that oh uh, Maybe later on in the future, if like what what's happening in our situation is better. But for now, I don't think I'm gonna put my kids or my boyfriend in any of my videos because I just don't want I just don't want to put them in this light, you know. <clears throat> Maybe in the future. Like, I was going to do a video with him, like, when I reach a certain point in my channel. But I, right now, I just don't even know because like the drama with his baby's mom and shit like that and it's just a very touchy subject that i don't even like to get into because that person does not i just don't i just don't even want to talk about it i just want it to be positive and um i just want to forget about things that just do not matter in my life in my kids life and that's it <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to address that because I had so many comments wanting to meet him and I don't know. Just know that he's a person I love dearly. Like, I love him so much. He's like my best friend. Like, he, after so many years of being with him, he still, like, gives me butterflies. <clears throat> Let's just say he's the total opposite of me. He's very social. He's a social person and he's very like outgoing and I don't know. He's an outgoing person, very social, very opposite from me. Um, he can literally start a conversation with a freaking random person standing next to him. Just think of him as this like emoji guy. That like, yeah, dark Mexican, you know? <laughs> I mean, he's not even that dark, actually. He's lighter than me. But yeah, let's just think of him as this uh, emoji guy. You know? <laughs> but yeah, I love him. Very, very much. Oh, so yeah, I was just wondering what you guys thought about me opening up a P.O. box. Like, if you guys could write me letters, make me, like, art pieces, or make me, like, I don't know make me something draw me something i don't really care whatever you guys want to send me um because i do want i did uh get a new table that i'm gonna use for my vanity i'm gonna use my old table for like my filming area and i'm i want to uh, like put a shelf or something in the background and like add your guys art pieces or like make like a letter wall i don't know i don't know Hmm. 
I think this would be a good uh, first date kind of uh, meal because you can totally swirl your noodles around and eat it like a lady. <laughs> Salad too. Just saying. Just saying if you guys wanted to know. Mmm. I love fruit. So, I was thinking about opening a P.O. box. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that because I don't want you guys to think like, oh my gosh, it's opening a P.O. box because she wants us to buy her stuff and no, that's not it. I honestly have to open up one anyways. But I wanted to know if you guys wanted to know my P.O. box. Just in case you wanted to send me art, pieces, letters. I don't know. Anything you want to send me. If you wanted to send me something. That would be so sweet. Like, I, I would love that. Like... I don't have any positive things to say. I just want everyone to have an awesome day and just don't let negative people ruin your day. Oh, I love you guys so much and thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me. It, it really does touch my heart. You guys don't even understand. I'm gonna fucking cry. Um, you guys just, you guys have a place in my heart too. And I, I just, I don't know. So yeah, um, hopefully um, next time I'll do like sushi or something you guys have been asking. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.